Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is another houseplant video. You guys by now should know if you follow me on IG or if you already saw my first video about my favorite beginner friendly starter plants, then you, you should know your girl loves plants. I'm a girl who loves plants. That's a secret obsession of mine, secret hobby of mine. It's a way to relieve anxiety. It's a way to kind of just take your mind off of things. I love walking around. This is Winter, I did it on Saturdays. I wake up in the morning and just water my plants and just kind of take a breather, take a moment, listen to a podcast and all that. So I have a love and affinity for plants, house plants, not really outdoor plants until I get my own home and kind of set up my own garden. I'm not going to be into the outdoor plants phase, but indoor plants me get along very well. So my last video I'll link up above are my beginner friendly starter house plants. If you're somebody just starting out and you really want to get a house plant, those are my beginner friendly but I said in that video some of my favorites aren't necessarily beginner friendly but they are my favorites so today's video is just my favorite house plants the ones I love now some of them are beginner friendly and made my last list but today's plants are all my loves I walk by them and they bring a smile to my face now as I said in my last video I'm a commoner and I like to use the common phrases for most of these plants they do have you know the Latin and the scientific phrases and all that but somebody who uses the word scientific can also not be the person who says long exaggerated names so again I will say the common phrase and I'll leave down below the kind of more technical the more Latin term for these plants now first up is my favorite plant which I call the mini monstera now if you follow me on IG you know I have a lot of the larger monsteras across my house which are the big monsteras I have at least three or four monsteras the big ones around different parts of my house I look to the right because I have one over there as well that's kind of a big 10 inch pot now this is a four inch mini monster so they don't get any bigger than these the leaves are this size and I love this plant it's so easy to care for and I would almost put it on my beginner friendly list but it took me a minute to figure out how to care for monsters it really took me a while they are quote unquote easy to a lot of people but to me it took me a minute so that's why it doesn't get beginner friendly for me it is facing an east facing window so I'll maybe talk about in later videos if you guys show an interest what east facing versus south facing versus north facing and all those windows do for a plant but it's east facing Thing. I just kind of water it I kind of mist it kind of gets this humidity and it's good to go and good to thrive but again mini monstera is my I guess uh, they're not in any order so this isn't like my number one plant but it is kind of close to my heart and I just love the uniqueness of the leaves and no plant on this list is going to be like a rare plant where you can't find it or it's hard to find I'm not one of those people who have like variegated Thai constellation monsteras no 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 I get plants that you can easily find a lot of my plants on this list I think I got from Etsy so weirdly enough they are from Etsy but again Etsy is easy enough to order because at Lowe's a lot of times you find the, the plants that were on my beginner friendly starter plants those are a lot more easily found at a, maybe a Lowe's or a, a Home Depot and all that a plant nursery may have a little bit more variety but I found Etsy has a lot of unique very unique plants that is hard for me to come by at my local Pikes nursery so my next fave is this water melon pepperomia I love this little plant and it's called watermelon pepperomia of course because of the way the leaves look I I think it goes without saying it does have a very watermelony look about it another plant that to me again ain't beginner friendly so that's why it doesn't make my beginner friendly list another plant I got for Etsy um, for I believe this was ten dollars on Etsy but it is very finicky the way it tells you that it's thirsty is the leaves will kind of droop but make sure you don't overwater it because I've had an instance with another pepperomia me and pepperomias aren't uh the best of friends we we take some time to get to know each other and me and this plant kind of took some time to get to know one another but we we know each other now we know each other at this point and um i really do love this plant it is again facing an east facing window just like a lot of my other plants it's a little further away than it used to be so it is kind of not as perky as it was before i might have to draw it back where it was i, I have this shelf that i recently bought if you followed me more recently you can notice that i got this shelf where where I put some plants on there but now they're further away than they were they used to be closer they're further I'm seeing how they adapt if if he gives me any fuss any troubles we're, we'll move him back and we'll give him back to his happy home but again love this now my next favorite plant 
Now, it kind of looks like it's been through some things, and it has. It came to me looking like it's been through some things, but I've gotten plants that look like they've been through some things, and I've kind of rehabilitated them. I've rehabilitated. Again, a girl who makes up words cannot use the real words for things, but I can use the real word for this, Calathea orbifolia. This one... <sighs> I recently got from Etsy again. Looks like it's been in seen better days, but I just love it when it's full. When I see full ones, I'm just in love. And I want this to become a full one so that it can just kind of become how my monsters are kind of accent pieces to my home. I want this one to become an accent piece. I'm still kind of learning more about this. I'm getting its water preferences kind of underway. I'm seeing how it adapts. It's in a west facing window behind another plant a little bit. So it's not getting harsh west facing sun if you guys don't know west facing sun is hotter than east facing sun it's way hotter i have a thermostat on that side it gets warm on the west side even if it's not even a warm day somehow it eats up my house to where it's like 80 degrees on like a 69 degree day but again this is my favorite because it's just so beautiful and i, I love seeing them full and i can't wait till this one is more than the four leaves that you kind of see right now and hopefully that's soon now a plant that was on my beginner friendly list was my ZZ Raven. I love the ZZ Raven. Again, it's a little darker. I only have two stems. It's not as full as my regular ZZ. I'll put this down and pick up my regular ZZ. This is my regular ZZ. As you can tell, there is a difference between this. This, of course, should look a lot greener to you. That ZZ um, is a little bit more common, a little bit more easier to find. Of course, you can get those at, um, I got that from Pipesner nursery but I've seen them also at you know your lows and all that a uh, black uh, raven ZZ plant is a little harder to find now the thing about this I did get this one from Etsy as well the thing about this is a little bit on the edge if you can see it's a little bit crispy it's getting too much sun and it's way far away from a west facing window but it's getting too much sun it's my favorite because i don't know i, I grew up and i loved a thing about me i love the adams family that was my favorite movie coming up i love marticia adams and wednesday adams and there's a scene in there where she's like cutting the heads off roses and it was very dark and i was like i like that i like a dark plant so when i saw a raven zz it gave me like an adams family vibe although everything else is colorful and bright it gave me one little Wednesday Adams family type vibe to it so that's why I kind of like it but it's kind of getting crispy at the ends because it's getting too much sun so I'm gonna have to move it even further back and put it in an even further dark spot as you can see from that the regular ZZ the new growth was coming in a lot lighter of a green it's growing and it's not getting really any sun so I should have treated this the same exact way put it really off into a dark spot I didn't but I will going forward move this to a kind of dumber kind of area so it doesn't get too much sun and it doesn't like get any more crispier than it kind of has gotten. So my next plant is just this Monstera adansonii. So this is what it looks like. When I got it, it was one of the plants that needed a little rehab. It had this little situation going, which made me feel like, okay, I'm getting a kind of rehabable plant. But since I've gotten it, it could put off all these new leaves. And as you can see, one is coming right it can stop wiggling right here new leaf coming in it's grown very slowly this is winter growth again we're just entering in the spring now so all of this these four new or five new leaves that came in came in during the winter time and it's doing very well uh, I just think it's cute I, I think you can already buy them very bushy so I got this from Etsy but then after I went got it from Etsy I saw it uh, at my local plant nursery and it was very full but I kind of take pleasure in the fact that when I got it it was only like one two three four leaves these four down here that are a little bit and these lighter ones coming in are the newer ones I kind of grew this so it really solidified my my, my green thumb it was like things are growing up under me things that were kind of crispy and looking a little off can grow with me so that's why I have faith in that calathea orbifolia that I can bring things back to life like I have that power so again love this plant it just needs to stay on its pole the thing about this plant is a growing plant so it wants to grow, grow up something so I might have to get some velcro and just kind of put it on here to make it kind of stay because it wants to the higher it goes if you have kind of a lo longer pole just need a longer pole so it can kind of grow up that my next favorite is just this donkey tail again another etsy i'm trying to think of any of these plants on this list i didn't get from etsy i think there's one um but i think it's just so okay you slow growing so this is not a plant you're going to get and see immediate growth but i just think it's so 
unique looking. It's a donkey's tail, burrow's tail, depending on who you go to. I like this plant. Again, it's probably a very beginner friendly plant. I think it made my beginner friendly list because it just needs water like once every two weeks every three weeks in the winter um and you're pretty much good to go just put it in your sun just it needs to be near a lot of sun so it still sits over here it's not back here far away it's really close up to the sun but i think it's just so cute and then my last favorite plant which is the most common plant that you can get literally everywhere uh, i got this at lowe's got both of them at lowe's actually this sits on my kitchen table and it's such a cute piece on my kitchen table and it's just the photonia i love them because they come in so many different colors again shout out to everybody who follows me who is an aka you can get you a little pink and green one you can get you a solid one you can get you a red and green one there's so many cute ones they're easy to care for in my opinion because they do require a little bit of a humidity i do have two humidifiers in my house one i'm looking at right now over my corner and then one in my room i give it a little mist and it is good to go so again those are my favorite house plants that i own now i know this is way outside of my normal content and you guys who follow me for hair are like when are you gonna get back to the hair content i'm still making hair content but we're in a quarantine right now as i'm filming this so i want to film more stuff for you guys that is outside of my comfort zone it's outside of my box so if you are somebody who too is trying to get into house plants you want to kind of dip your toe into house plants and you have any questions for me leave them down below i want to do more things that are out the box of me i can always be a crochet here content creator but i've had the same crochet here in for you know a few weeks now it's time to kind of branch out do more so that's what today's video is it's doing more if you like this type of video make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you don't like it still give it that big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of this good content that i make for you guys and i do make some pretty good content make sure you're following me on instagram at leelavon89 because none of this would have been new to you you would have been like talia lives in a jungle and i know it because i saw it on instagram so make sure you're following me there and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye